Hello! I'm sure you've heard of me, but I would like to tell you anyway. I'm Lucille Bell, the star of I Love Lucy. I was born August 6, 1911 in Jamestown, New York, to my two lovely parents, Desiree and Henry Darrell Ball. I have an older brother named Freddie, and during my childhood, we moved to Montana for some time. During this time, my father passed away when I was four, and I was separated from my brother. We all, though, ended up moving back to Jamestown. Growing up, I had very little, but despite having very little, I craved something bigger, something bigger from life. When I was 15, I convinced my mother to allow me to enroll in a New York City drama school. I was very, very nervous, and I was a tongue-tied teenager spellbound by the school's star pupil, Betty Davis. It's so funny. My school even sent a letter to my mom. They said I was too shy to put my best foot forward. So I set my mind to prove them wrong. I knew that I could make it. Later, my husband, Desi Arnaz, convinced me to go into broadcasting, which caught the eye of CBS who offered me to make I Love Lucy. Can you believe that at first CBS didn't agree with me doing the show with my real husband just because he was Cuban? They changed their minds rather quickly though when we won the Hearts of America on our tour. After some time, my husband and I decided, decided to start Desi Lu Productions, which would later produce the original series Star Trek. I Love Lucy became an American classic, which had a loving and loyal following, which I would appreciate later. There was a time when many other actors, actresses, and people in the public in the public eye were blacklisted because they openly participated in the Communist Party. In the 1936 election, I registered to vote for the Communist Party as well. Only to please my grandfather though. He had a friend in this party running and he wanted to make sure he, they had my family's vote. My darling husband quickly defended my name, stating that the only thing read about me is my hair and even that is not real. The chairman of the House on Un-American Activities Committee called a press conference in his Hollywood hotel room, which he then later on proceeded to clear my name. And during this time, it was really frightening for me because there was many paparazzis coming to my front yard to harass and demand that I answer their questions about being a part of this party when really I was just trying to please my father figure. All in all, everything turned out okay and I got to live a long and happy life producing two more shows um, and I even made a really amazing friend named Betty White which we used to play backminton together and which was very fun because I tried to teach her but she couldn't really ever learn because I'm a pretty bad teacher. So that's my life. Thank you for being interested in my history and have a wonderful day.